Welcome back to the McLaren, the 675 LT. And first of all, apologies for not getting out any content in the last week. My other side of my life has just been absolutely flat out and it just hasn't allowed me to film or upload the content which I had planned. But we're making up for it and this week I'm hoping to get out three great videos, one of them being a drag race series with the LT, which you have to check out. It's a fantastic day. Now today is all about the relaunch of MrJWW.com. If you didn't know, I do have a website, it exists now, but it is predominantly a blog. And the idea is that coming very soon, MrJWW.com is relaunching with some really cool content, some exciting projects and just some stuff that I'm really excited to show you guys. So there's a whole new site being built and if you want to check it out you can head over there, you can stick in your email and when that site does eventually go live you'll be the first ones to know when it drops and let me assure you there's some really cool stuff coming. Now as part of that website relaunch we need some nice tasty content and I'm not just talking videos but pictures are also super important. So today for the first time ever I've got the McLaren, the Ferrari F12, and the 991 GT3 together on a road trip. It's the first time I've ever had all three together on a journey. And to mark the occasion, I've invited my friend and photographer over, Richard Walton, who has joined me on Gumball several times, to document this day in pictures so we've got some fantastic content for the website. Ultimately, today we're on a three car road trip with all three of my cars, which is so exciting, to the Cotswolds and the sun is actually shining. We're gonna go and immerse you guys in this trip because ultimately that's what this channel is all about, sharing adventures with you guys. Hopefully have a great day, great video and turn out with some great pictures. Let's do it. Okay, we have arrived. We are here in the Cotswolds. We are in a beautiful location called Broadway. Anyone who hasn't been to the Cotswolds, I cannot recommend it enough. I'm amazed at the amount of people in England who haven't been, but anyone who's watching from across the pond, if you're ever in England, make it a priority to come here. It is one of the most beautiful places in England, without doubt. Amazingly, we have a stunningly sunny day. All three cars out. I've got friends helping me with this driving. Fridays don't come much better than this, man. It is so, so good. So on my list today is several places dotted throughout the Cotswolds. Each has their own character, but they've all got a certain feel to them. And one thing which is iconic about the Cotswolds is this beautiful stone. Everything's made of this like soft, sort of yellow, orangey stone, and the contrasting cars off it just, just pops, man. So yeah, Broadway, first stop. After this, we're going to a place called Chipping Norton, and then I'll share with you some more adventures and some more locations afterwards. Let's hit it. All right, we've just left Broadway, had really nice uh, lunch. Was it Horse, Horse and Hound? Horse and Hound. That sounds more like a magazine than a restaurant. I hope I've got that right. But Horse and Hound. And Rich is back in the car. How's it been going so far, man? Oh, it's All been right? amazing. I feel yeah? like I'm back on the gun board. Yes, mate. <laughs> this is good news. So, so far, favourite car? Favourite car to shoot or favourite car oh. to be in? Because Rich has got the glamorous job of being in any car you want all day. You can hop between the F12, the GT3, the 675. What do you think? Um, I mean, it's a tough choice. Obviously, they're all completely different. Um, in terms of shooting them, they're all equally as interesting, I think. Yeah. Um, I think, I, I might have to say, and I, I love the Porsche. Yeah. I love this. Yeah. You like but the F12? I think it's going to be the Ferrari. You like that, yeah? Yeah, I... I why is it? Why, why is that? Well, I just think it's it's kind of like it's quite a kind of cruisy, kind of mellow, kind of yeah. comfortable. Like this feels like it's quite like, compact. Yeah, yeah I, 
and I'm waiting for you to be a full day and I feel the speed, whereas the Ferrari... Sure. Is Ferrari's it, a bit more of a cruiser. Yeah, sure. it's a lot of a color. Larger inside. Yeah. And I, I think also with the interior being light and cream, yeah. it probably feels larger than it is. I mean, it, it is definitely larger, yeah. but that it just feels so open in there. Yeah. Yeah. I, wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't say neither of them. Yeah. The, the Porsche has gone, you know, I think I fell in love with her. Yeah. So Rich, if you join this channel later on, after Gumball, uh, Rich drove my GT3 back from Bucharest to London. The reason being, I just basically fell sick, like halfway through it, Rich just uh, took over. So I think there's a special place in your heart yeah, for that car. And also from a photography point of view, the satin finish on yeah, it, sure. you don't have to deal with any yeah. reflections yeah. or light yeah. or anything. The Porsche is the easiest by far to front yeah. The, the reflect, there's no real reflections there. Sure. Um, yeah. You know, the biggest problem of photographing any car is that obviously they're shiny and they reflect. So, sure, yeah, yeah. Um, it can be challenging, but the Porsche is the easiest car. I think to be honest, I say the Ferrari, I think. Are <laughs> you coming back it, around? It, it's hard, right? If something miraculously happened, yeah. Then lots of money landed in my bank account, I would probably buy the Porsche. Would you? Yeah. That Porsche, or you would go for a GT3? That, well... You would buy this I one mean, off me? Well... You would buy the you say, yeah, yeah, I would, yeah. If you, if, you know, okay, yeah. cool. If you, if you said, well, I'm selling that, yeah. then I said, well, that's cool, because I just won the lottery. And, uh, and I'd like it. I'll take it off your hands. Where, that's pretty cool. Alright. I'll bear that in mind, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Start playing the wrong way. <laughs> um, but no, I think this. I haven't been with this car. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me any of They've all got their different assets, haven't they? with some sheep and a photographer. <laughs> the real reason we stopped here is for this shot here. There's my friend Adam. Adam, say hello. He's had the- This is the best day ever. He's enjoying it. He's had the pleasure of driving the GT3 all day. And we actually pulled over in this field for this shot here, which will be really cool when it's on a proper camera. But while we're here, look at this view. It goes forever to be here. Shooting these cars, middle of the British countryside, sun shining, cars gleaming. It's just, times like this, guys, I feel so fortunate. Absolutely. Just blows me away, man. Just look at what I'm seeing, look. Look at the cars just poking over the, the wall there. It just looks so good. I can't wait to see these finished pictures. Absolutely brilliant. So, we're now pretty much halfway through our day. The next and final stop in the Cotswolds is a place called Woodstock, uh, which is also near a famous uh, building you might have heard of called Blenheim Palace. Lots of car events are held there. There aren't any today, but Woodstock as a village is absolutely stunning. Yeah, so time to leave this field. Let's do it. So in an absolutely spectacular turn of events, we were just driving through Woodstock and we got invited into Blenheim Palace with our cars by none other than the Duke himself. The, the Duke, Jamie, who owns Blenheim Palace, is a big supercar fan, big supercar guy. Uh, yeah, saw so the cars, invited us in personally to what is essentially his home uh, and gave us free reign on his incredibly beautiful estate to come and shoot these pictures. I mean, you couldn't have written it. It's, it's absolutely amazing. And what a wonderful, lovely, passionate guy. Loves his cars, big into F1, has an absolutely beautiful home. But yeah, was really enthusiastic that we would, you know, be honored 
to, to come and shoot these cars here. So, uh, yeah, thanks again to the Duke. And now we're lining up beside his front gate, which looks like the gate to Buckingham Palace. And, uh, yeah, we're gonna just take some sweet shots. So, uh, this, this. Absolutely immense. Like we've been driving around all day, just like identifying little spots we can shoot in throughout the Cotswolds, these beautiful villages. And while on the whole it's been pretty successful, this is beyond my wildest expectations. I mean, talk about right place, right time. The the Duke of all people. I mean, look at this place. It's like you know that scene from Jurassic Park where they're driving in the, the jeep and they're like making small talk, and then they come over that rolling hill on all those like. Diplodocus and stuff are playing around in the lake. This is the lake! I mean, it's not the lake, but it looks just like it. It's absolutely insane. I'm truly privileged, honored, and excited. And to be able to share it with you as well, it's just immense, absolutely fantastic. Thanks to Rich for taking some awesome photos. It's gonna make the website look so good, man. Oh, it's gonna be yeah. so, so cool. Yeah. So, yeah, man, thanks a lot. And as always, guys, thanks for very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.